The co-op is more than just a bank. It's a supermarket, a travel agent, a pharmacy. It sells legal and insurance services, and it will even organise your funeral. But the whole group is in trouble. Former Labour City Minister Lord Miners was parachuted in to shake things up. But after only four months, he's quit amid criticism of his plans for reform. On course to announce losses of £2 billion next week, in his initial review, he said the co-op group had made breathtakingly value-destructive decisions. In this internal video, it's clear there were tensions. At times, the executive team has been treated with a degree of disdain by members of the group board. I've actually been quite shocked by how one or two directors have spoken to our executive team. It's the latest blow in what's been a terrible year for the co-op. In April 2013, a deal to take over more than 600 Lloyds branches collapsed. Then the chairman, Paul Flowers, was arrested after allegations of drug taking. Lord Miners was then brought in to carry out a review of the group's operations. However, last month, the chief executive resigned, saying the group was ungovernable. And now Lord Miners has quit after group directors rejected his reform plans. So what needs to be done? They need to have much more control from the top to sort the mess out. And clearly, they're not getting that support internally. And because of the way the bank is structured, it is a cooperative, they can't implement what needs to be done. But what do customers of the co-op bank think? I'm sticking with the co-op because I believe in their, their ethics, basically. Um, I find them really good. I've got back with them since I left school and uh, I I've, I've, love it. I've got several accounts with them, so yeah, I'm sticking with them through it, hoping I've... that they pull through. It's loyal customers like that that the group is going to need because it looks as if its troubles are a long way from being over. Ruth Liptrot, 5 News.